The U.S. military has released a video which purportedly shows an airstrike that targets one of the most senior leaders of the Taliban group. The video shows the airstrike on a leader of the Red Unit of the Taliban Mullah Sharwali who was killed in the raid on December 1st. A fast-moving car is shown in the video as the military planes approach and targets it with a missile, putting on flames with the U.S. officials saying at least five people were killed in the raid. According to a statement by the U.S. military, the Taliban's Red Unit commander in Helmand province, Mullah Sharwali, Aka Haji Nasser, was killed in a kinetic strike in Musa Kala, Helmand, Dek. 1. One of Wali's deputy commanders and three other insurgents were also killed in the strike. The statement further added that Wali and his Red Unit are responsible for planning numerous suicide bombings, IED attacks, and coordinated assaults against civilians, Afghan and coalition forces. Wali was directly responsible for coordinating operations and resupply of munitions, explosives, and materials for the Taliban throughout Helmand province. Afghan national security and coalition forces killed several Taliban fighters in the Helmand province over the weekend. The combined force was conducting a reconnaissance mission when Taliban fighters attacked the patrol with rocket and small arms fire. Afghan and coalition forces returned fire using small arms, machine gun fire and called in close air support. There were no reports of civilian injuries or damage to property. Reporting from Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan, I'm Tech Sergeant Dwight Hawkins, Pentagon Channel News. Mullah Sharwali's death will disrupt the Taliban network, degrade their narcotics trafficking, and hinder their ability to conduct attacks against Afghan forces, Nicholson said. Us for A and our Afghan partners will continue to aggressively target Taliban leaders to destroy their drug network, disrupt their communications, and deny them safe haven. Right double quotation mark. The Taliban in Helmand province are responsible for poppy cultivation and opium trade that funds their activities.
17.3 in particular is a U.S. only uh, red flag. And so we get to take uh, that opportunity to the next level, if you will. Uh, this red flag alone is uh, our singular largest uh, fifth gen footprint that we've had, uh, largest F-35 footprint we've had at red flag. As this aircraft continues to grow and the operators, the maintainers around that aircraft and the system writ large, we get to learn as we continue to build. And so having two F-35 units here at the same time, one being Air Force, one being the Marine Corps, not only do we get to learn about the F-35 even more, but we get to learn about what our sister services are doing with the airplane as well as what the Air Force is doing. As we look to try to be innovative and getting after these tough problem sets, that is only going to increase our readiness because we're getting smarter as a force, we're getting smarter as a joint warfighter uh, and going after these tough threats. And that's what Red Flag offers.